inch rain last night and uh, I've been looking at my wheat it's looking better since the liquid nitrogen got on it so uh, I took an early lunch let everything dry off this morning and uh, I'm going to a different field than what I was at on the last video I'm getting a field that tends to be wet and it ain't going to get no drier than what it is right now to plant corn. Quick look at the cows. So let's go get started on it.
picks up the planter. Oh, I will on the next pass. That's what stops them up right there. Probably won't get no corn out of that spot anyway. I've got some problems here. My monitor started acting up and I got to smelling this and uh, I don't know if I've got a short or what, but I've got voltage problems. Well, I had one of my local mechanics help me and he just left here. Thing's still gurgling. This battery's bad. We've got the ground off taped up uh, it will crank on one battery and maybe it'll run my monitor and GPS on one battery for the rest of the day. I'm about halfway done with this field. I'd like to get it done tonight. Well, I got 50 acres done, so that means 10 acres. Hopefully another 45 minutes I can leave here because it's been a long day and this is the deal with the battery and I've had some more auto steer issues. That's going to be moved to a different tractor and hopefully another one will take its place a lot better system. If I had hair I'd pull it out today. Finally got done with this field. I believe this is the longest 60 acres I've ever seen. We'll bring you back in the morning probably with spraying. Spraying some wheat again. Change of plans. I decided to go ahead and plant instead of spray. I've got a nine acre patch here and then going over to a 70 acre farm that will get me caught up all except for an eight acre uh, test plot. I'm not gonna do that in this video. May not even film that at all. So we're planting. Well, we've got the nine acres knocked out and uh, I'm gonna have to travel about five miles to the next 70. So we'll bring you back when we get over there. Well, I got pulled in here at this uh, 70 acre farm. Gonna knock it out today and uh, have eight acres left for a test plot. So I figured I was, by my calculations, very low on, low on seed. I'm not. Uh, monitor showing that I'm putting seed out shows I'm putting it out at the right population. Uh, my speed was wonky, started that yesterday. So I'm down for the count right now. Um, hopefully Ag Express has got a cable that will uh, mount to the back of my GPS and mounting this harness somewhere where I can control my speed off my GPS and be back be back working. Um, the monitor is bad on that thing, but as I've mentioned, uh, the planter's going after I get my crop in this year. Uh, the planter's in good shape. It's just, it just needs a monitor. And the reason why I'm trading planters is uh, this is a 12. I want to go to a 16 row. Because we got an 8 row header now. 
So I'll let you know when I come up with something on this because I've got to come up with something. If I don't want to buy a $5,000 monitor just to plant a couple acres of corn. And I may have to replant what I did yesterday as well. So I left y'all at the field Thursday. Uh, still working on a solution for my monitor. Uh, I found some used monitors, relatively cheap, and but I still have to buy a harness. Uh, that's not going to be easy to find. Ag Express is still looking for me something um, cable-wise. So it rained Thursday night. We got off known storms and showers yesterday. Today's Saturday and uh, looks like it could rain any minute. So this is what we've been working on. This is uh, the engine out of the four or the 1660 combine. This is a 466. And we're taking it out and putting it in a tractor. We're putting it in the old 1066. Um, it's got a uh, water in the oil. I want to just wanted to just go ahead and rebuild the one that's in it. It's a smaller engine, but uh, Dad wants to put this one in it. It don't make sense for me, but because uh, we don't need the extra power, which this one's a lot bigger engine, a lot more power. And uh, I asked him if he had plans pulling it, so she's not going to do that. I might slip up and do it one day, but uh, anyways, that's what we've been working on. Uh, got some spraying next week while we get this monitor uh, deal straightened out. So I'm going to go ahead and call this a video. Uh, like I said, I thought I was going to get done planting pretty much in this video, but... Uh, not going to happen so thank you for watching thanks for putting up with me god bless you and we'll catch you on the next one